Welcome everyone to this information session for Berkeley's Master of Molecular Science and Software Engineering, or MSSE for short. My name is Sean Butcher, and I'm the Executive Director for the MSSE program. I also want to introduce Emma Bilski, who is our Graduate Student Advisor and Program Manager, and our Faculty Director, Professor Teresa Head Gordon who created the MSSE degree. Professor Head Gordon is the Chancellor's Professor in the Department of Chemistry, Bioengineering and Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at UC Berkeley. Today, I'm going to spend about 30 minutes providing you with an overview of the MSSE program, including what is the focus of the degree? Why earn the MSSE? careers and outcomes that the MSSE prepares you for, the courses you will take and the skills you will learn, online learning at Berkeley, I'll tell you about Berkeley and your instructors, the eligibility requirements for the degree, and how to apply. So what is the Master of Molecular Science and Software Engineering? In brief, it is an online professional master's program focused on teaching scientists and engineers to use computation and machine learning to solve real-world problems in the molecular sciences and other scientific fields. The Master of Molecular Science and Software Engineering teaches students skills that are in high demand, has a world-class faculty and is delivered through an innovative, interdisciplinary curriculum with a flexible online modality. For many industries such as energy, medicine, food and agriculture, materials and renewables, recent advances in computing power and data processing capabilities mean that they are becoming increasingly reliant on the new capabilities that computational science can provide. Additionally, with its focus on advanced machine learning, software engineering, complex mathematical modeling, simulations and high performance computing, the MSSE is teaching you the skills required for the emerging field of artificial intelligence. Graduates who possess the skills that MSSE provides will be very much desired by companies in both the sciences and other areas. There's an extreme shortage of people with these types of skills, and this shortage does not look like it will lessen in the near future. Demand for computational scientists is projected to grow much faster than the average for other occupations. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects that employment for computer and information research scientists will grow by 22% between 2020 and 2030. Jobs in data science are predicted to grow by 31% over the next 10 years. The World Economic Forum's Future Job Survey 2020 estimates that 12 million new roles will emerge worldwide by 2026 due to AI. And according to Randstad SourceRight's 2022 in-demand skills research, the most in-demand skills today for the life sciences and pharmaceutical industries include artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, and big data. The MSSE program provides you with highly in-demand skills required for careers in computational science, data science, machine learning, computational chemistry, computational biology, computational physics, simulation engineering, and bioinformatics engineering, and many other fields. As I mentioned, these are careers that are in high demand and where there is a lack of qualified candidates so average starting salaries for these jobs are correspondingly high. Computational molecular science 
is an important aspect in finding solutions to many of the world's most pressing issues such as climate change, renewable energy, world hunger, disease, and an aging population. It's fair to say that some of the world's largest challenges can be addressed at the molecular level, and computational molecular science is a key component in this endeavor. Over this last decade, we have seen incredible advances in computer processing power and memory. This has opened up new horizons in our ability to model real-world phenomena. We're now entering the age of exascale computing, where not just individual computers are achieving exponentially faster speeds, but they're also being used in parallel, where thousands of computers work together. With exascale computing, processing speeds are measured in exaflops, that is 10 to the power of 18 floating point operations per second. Computers operating at these speeds have a much greater ability to simulate complex systems such as protein folding, climate models, and other physical simulations, from the very large scale, such as the motion of galaxies, down to the quantum level, such as molecular simulations. Exascale computing is also reaching the estimated processing power of the human brain at the neural level. The result is that problems which were until recently beyond our ability to compute are now possible, and as processing power continues to advance, we will be able to simulate increasingly complex systems with higher fidelity and granularity. At the same time as this increase in processing power, we're also seeing exponential increases in the amount of data that is available and can be stored and processed. This has allowed breakthroughs in techniques used to model and analyze data. New machine learning techniques, such as deep neural networks and artificial intelligence, allow computers to learn from data and perform tasks that were considered out of reach until recently. Over the last decade, computers have learned to beat humans at chess, Go, Jeopardy, and video games and are able to recognize images and speech with high precision. Recently, generative AI and large language models are producing results that can mimic human intelligence, allowing computers to output results such as text, audio, images, and video that are hard to distinguish from human creativity. The exponential improvements in the processing capacity of today's computers and a greater support for multiprocessor and parallel architectures have greatly enhanced our ability to simulate large and complex systems with high fidelity. These simulations can be used for rapid discovery, experimentation, optimization, and prototyping in multiple fields ranging from chemistry biology, physics, and the material sciences. For many industries, computational science has become essential for innovation and for remaining competitive. Experiments that would have been prohibitively expensive in time or resources to achieve in a lab, or which would have been impossible to achieve with traditional scientific methods, can now be modeled and simulated on computers in a fraction of the time and expense. While traditional scientific innovation can take 10 to 20 years to bring a new molecule from the lab to market, computational molecular science can achieve the same results through large analytical simulations, run against millions of scenarios and using terabytes of data. Because of its pervasive use in scientific discovery, computational science is now often referred to as the third pillar of science, joining theory and experimentation. Computational molecular science is becoming widely used in chemical, biochemical and material sciences. For instance, for 50 years, predicting the 3D structure of proteins was a fundamental grand challenge in biology. 
Today this vision is becoming a reality. Computational molecular science and artificial intelligence driven software now enable us to rapidly produce accurate protein structures by the thousands and for complexes of interacting proteins. Computational molecular science is being used today to fight disease resistant antibiotics, develop new enzymes such as enzymes that can digest plastics, for better targeting in drug discovery, that is finding drugs or molecules that bind with the receptors you want and without side effects on other receptors, to develop advanced materials and nanomaterials such as graphene, carbon nanotubes and titanium carbon composites, for new materials and processes required for renewable energy such as improved batteries and solar cells, and materials that can operate in hostile environments without breaking down. It will also be needed to develop the new materials and processes required to increase the efficiencies of fusion power and make it a viable source of plentiful, cheap, environmentally neutral energy. Over the next 20 years, it is anticipated that a more multidisciplinary and data-intensive approach to life sciences, known as bioconvergence, will shift our understanding of and ability to manipulate living matter. Scientists will increasingly be able to treat genetic instructions as a form of computational code, allowing us to visualize, measure, identify, and manipulate biological systems at the molecular scale. To treat genetic instructions in DNA, RNA, and amino acids like a language that can be written, edited, and executed with high precision to synthesize useful materials, to collect, digitize, store, and analyze genomes from many thousands of individuals along with their physical, mental, and health traits to correlate how specific genetic instructions interact with the environment to produce distinct traits, and to combine complex biological and non-biological processes such as bioelectronic interfaces for sensing or stimulating biological systems in support of medicine, agriculture, and manufacturing. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Berkeley, Berkeley was established in 1868 and today ranks as one of the world's top universities. It is the number one ranked public university in the world. The MSSE is provided as a collaboration between Berkeley's College of Chemistry and Engineering, which are both ranked number one in schools nationally. Sixteen elements were discovered at UC Berkeley, including plutonium, Berkelium and Californium. We have 26 faculty Nobel laureates and 35 alumni laureates. 20 of these are from the College of Chemistry and include Jennifer Doudna, who won the 2020 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for the invention of CRISPR gene editing. Two of our alumni, John Clauser and Caroline Bertozzi, just won the 2022 Nobel Prizes for physics and chemistry respectively. We are located in Silicon Valley, which helps with partnerships with companies and organizations working on cutting edge applications in computational molecular sciences for your capstones. We're also located next to Lawrence Berkeley Labs, which gives you access to their researchers and state-of-the-art resources. In the MSSE, you will receive a Berkeley quality education. Our instructors include world-renowned faculty. These include Martin Head Gordon, who is the Kenneth S. Pitzer Distinguished Professor of Chemistry. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, an American Chemical Society Fellow, a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and a member of the International Academy of Quantum Molecular Sciences. Professor Teresa Head Gordon is the Chancellor's Professor of Chemistry, Bioengineering, and Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. 
She's an elected fellow of the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering for her contributions to computational methodologies for macromolecular assemblies. And Professor James DeMell, who is a professor in the Computer Science and Mathematics departments. He has also won the IEEE Computer Science Sydney Fernback Award for computational science leadership in creating adaptive, innovative, high-performance linear algebra software. This is an online degree, and all courses will be delivered online except for a two-week spring leadership boot camp, which will be held in person on the Berkeley campus, although we do have a fully online option. Online learning at Berkeley means you can receive a Berkeley quality education from anywhere in the world, no visa application required. The program consists of online lectures. These are mostly recorded and asynchronous. Live lectures will be recorded so that you can view them on your own schedule or attend in person. Live and synchronous online labs, online discussions and office hours homework, and a capstone. For the full-time program, you can expect to spend around 42 to 45 hours per week during the semester on your courses, although this will vary depending on your background. The MSSE degree offers both full and part-time options. You can complete the degree in as few as nine months of full-time study, starting in August, and finishing in early May following the schedule shown here, or in two years of part-time study. To learn more about the individual courses, you can visit the curriculum page on our website, mssse.berkeley.edu. There you will find brief descriptions of each course, as well as sample syllabi. The courses are designed to accommodate working professionals. So what will you learn by the time you graduate with the MSSE? The degree consists of 29 credits and 11 courses. As a rough breakdown, the curriculum for the MSSE spends about 50% of its coursework covering computational science, about a third on machine learning and high-performance computing. The rest of the curriculum is split between courses on leadership, entrepreneurship, ethics, and on a capstone project. Whether you pursue the degree full-time or part-time, the culmination of your learning in the MSSE program will take place in the capstone course in your final spring semester. The primary objective of the capstone course is to provide you with the experience of managing a project involving the application and development of high-end computational software for computational science. You will exercise your leadership and team building skills through individual class assignments, peer reviews, and a final capstone project report. The capstone project will also provide you with professional networking opportunities. We have a number of industrial and academic partners that work with us each year to provide capstone projects, and you will be matched with one of these projects based on your background, the project requirements, and your preferences. A common question we receive is how does the MSSE degree compare with computational biology programs, bioinformatics programs, computational chemistry programs, and data science programs? The terms computational biology and bioinformatics are often used loosely and interchangeably, so I'll refer to them both as bioinformatics programs here. Also, most of the computational chemistry programs are just tracks in other degree programs, such as theoretical chemistry or applied chemistry. So I'm going to focus here mostly on bioinformatics programs. A comparison of a number of existing masters in bioinformatics degrees show the following common similarities and differences with the MSSE. Firstly, the focus of most bioinformatics degrees is on computational molecular biology. This is the same as the Master of Molecular Science, which has a focus on computational molecular biology, 
but it also covers material sciences. Bioinformatics degrees may also focus on other types of clinical data, such as hospital and patient data. Although the data analysis techniques taught in the MSSC will apply to these types of data and may be used in some examples, this is not the focus of the MSSE. The MSSE teaches computational techniques that apply to all molecules, whether they're in a biological setting or a non-biological setting, so the techniques covered will apply both to biomolecular materials and non-biomolecular materials. Both the MSSE and bioinformatics programs cover standard data analysis, statistical analysis, and data science techniques, and both cover basic programming. Some bioinformatics programs use MATLAB rather than a general purpose language such as Python. They may also use R, which is still popular but has been largely eclipsed by Python. The MSSE teaches programming in both Python and C++. A significant difference between the MSSE and bioinformatics programs is that bioinformatics programs use a considerable portion of their curriculum to cover general science topics such as molecular biology, cell biology, and chemistry. This often uses up about 50% of the curriculum, leaving less time for more advanced computation and data science topics. By contrast, the MSSE focuses on computation, software engineering, and machine learning. This means that the MSSE has time to cover more advanced computational science topics and you will spend more time on programming. You will learn more advanced programming skills from the MSSE degree and in particular have covered topics related to code efficiency, memory management and scalability. You will also learn how to work with modern parallel computer architectures that combine multiple processors, CPUs and GPUs, and deep hierarchical memory. The MSSE's computation and machine learning courses are also specifically designed for computational scientists, while many other bioinformatics programs may use general computer science and data science courses. The MSSE also focuses on more advanced data science topics than typical bioinformatics programs, such as machine learning, deep learning, and AI. Also, the MSSE covers computational techniques that work at a quantum scale, whereas bioinformatics degrees tend to stay at a more macroscopic level. The ability to work at the quantum level provides significant advantages in the accuracy of molecular models and simulations. Finally, the MSSE is a newer curriculum and covers more recent topics such as deep neural networks, generative AI, large language models, high performance computing, and also mathematical modeling and simulation of molecules and other physical systems. Compared to data science programs, the MSSE is designed for students with the background or a strong interest in the sciences and will enable you to leverage your science degrees and experience to make you more competitive in your job search and career. It has a focus on molecular sciences, which will prepare you for careers in rapidly growing industries such as biotech, pharmaceuticals, energy and new materials. Again, while there is a focus on the molecular sciences, the skills you will learn are in high demand in other industries outside of the molecular sciences, both within sciences and beyond. For instance, many of the techniques you will learn are in high demand for financial simulations, to improve supply chains, and by social media companies to determine customer behavior and recommend content. The MSSE has a greater focus on coding than the typical data science master's degree. You'll graduate with more skills in writing efficient code and in data structures and algorithms. You'll learn C++ in addition to Python, whilst many data science degrees only focus on Python. 
C++ is a lower level language than Python and is better at producing code that is faster and more efficient. C++ is also similar to many other popular programming languages such as Java, C and C Sharp. So you should be able to learn these languages easily after learning C++. Although we cover a full array of data science topics, the focus of the MSSE is on machine learning, mathematical modeling and simulations, and on high-end computationally intensive techniques such as deep learning and neural networks and AI. Individuals with skills in these areas tend to be in higher demand than even for other data science disciplines. The MSSE also deals with much larger data sets than a typical big data scenario and with much more computationally intensive applications. Finally, you'll learn to use multi-core, multi-processor architectures that mix CPUs and GPUs with deep memory hierarchies. This is the direction in which computer architectures are moving to continue their exponential growth in processing speeds and memory into the future. The current tuition for this degree is $1,975 per credit. The total cost of the degree, not including miscellaneous campus fees, is $57,275. We have a couple of internal scholarships, the MSSE Excellence Scholarship, which is a merit-based scholarship and all applicants are automatically considered. You don't need to submit any additional materials to be considered for this scholarship. The MSSE Opportunity Grant is designed for applicants who demonstrate financial need. Special consideration is given to applicants whose backgrounds and life experience contribute significantly to an educationally beneficial mix of students and enhance educational diversity. You will need to fill out the grant section of the application to be considered for this scholarship. You may also be eligible for external grants, fellowships and loans. To finance your degree, you may apply for financial aid by completing the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. You're also encouraged to apply early for external grants and scholarships if needed. We have resources to help you explore external grants on our website. The admission requirements for this degree are that you should first have a BA or BS in a STEM topic such as science, engineering, math, or computer science discipline. You should have at least a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale. You need prior coursework in either chemistry, material science, or physics. You also need advanced math coursework equivalent to at least the Calculus 2 level. Before you begin, you will also need to demonstrate that you have coursework or experience in linear algebra and multivariable calculus. You also need to demonstrate that you are proficient in a high-level programming language such as Python, Java, or C, C++. We can provide you with advice on the resources you can use to satisfy these requirements before you begin your studies. So please contact us at msse at berkeley.edu if you have questions. Berkeley uses a holistic approach to evaluate applications, which means that we consider an applicant's whole profile rather than focusing on checking off the boxes. We do look favorably on students who show initiative in meeting the program's requirements. So how do you apply for the MSSE? To apply, you should visit us at msse.berkeley.edu forward slash apply. Click on the apply button and fill out the application. You'll need to submit a CV or resume, transcripts from every institution of higher education attended, a statement of purpose, a personal history statement, two letters of recommendation, 
and a proof of English language proficiency, if required. There is a $135 application fee for domestic students and a $155 fee for international students. If you will have graduated with a bachelor's degree or higher from Berkeley by the start of the degree, the fee is waived. The deadline for submitting your application is February 1st, 2024 for the fall 2024 start. I want to thank you for attending this information session. I hope you found the information useful. If there are any questions that weren't answered by this session, please connect with us if you haven't done so already by visiting our website at mssee.berkeley.edu and you can also email us at msse at berkeley.edu or reach us by phone or text on 510-545-9746. Thank you.